morning all you beautiful people um i just want to come in and say salute to you salute to your family um y'all hit the like button if you haven't already give y'all a little time to hit that like button we're gonna talk about brother hassan campbell again it's a level of disrespect that he say to his viewers a lot of times um about i don't know if it's just about other youtube viewers or about just viewers as a whole maybe it's, I'm, I'm gonna give i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and just say maybe he's speaking about other youtube viewers you know what i'm saying people that's not subscribed to his channel i'm gonna give him that benefit of the doubt because i find it hard to believe that a brother will um disrespect his audience his people that's taking time out their day to watch him um taking time out their day to engage in his in his ideology you know what i'm saying and he'll come back and disrespect them blatantly in their face so let's just hope that but i will say that this brother say that um <clears throat> youtube viewers are basically so stupid like they uh, um they uh, they will allow different people to come back and you know they they'll do this they'll show they who they really are and they'll come to YouTube and you stupid MFers uh accept them that's what he say that's here nor there I I just want to use this moment to spin off something more real um something more positive um because at the end of the day you know all grown men once you become his age we done seen this brother um disrespect his audience before he tell them all to unsubscribe um he wouldn't give a f. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, I told these people so many times before, you know what I'm saying? If you're not paying attention to him, you're part of the dirty side of YouTube anyway. So with this being said, I just want to speak to the to, just to the viewers as a whole. Um, understand that, man. When y'all take time out y'all day, and I'm not asking you, I'm not telling you who to like. At the end of the day, this platform is way more smaller than a lot of these guys. I've been on YouTube way less, uh, me, uh, only a fraction of the amount of time of what these guys been on YouTube. I say all that to say, it don't make me none either way. I'm happy with where I'm at on my channel. And I appreciate uh, what we do on our channel collectively. Um, I appreciate the engagement. I appreciate the trolls as well. Because at the end of the day, um, it's good and bad to complete the story. Nothing to always just be good, even in your life. Um, you have good and you have bad. You have greatness and you have evil. But at the end of the day, it's learning lessons in the, in the bad and, it, and it's to be it's to be celebrated when you have some good moments. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you have celebration and you have learning experiences, right? I say all that to say, when you're speaking about uh, a brother that um that, that speak to his viewers or just speak to, I guess, YouTube viewers as a whole the way he do, a lot of times um it, it just amazes me how people still are running back. It's like people love being talked to disrespectful. Those are the ones that they want to go back and listen for some more. Like, let's see what he... Same with like the Charleston White effect, you know what I'm saying? And this brother, and he and he said some real real stuff one time I watched him, man. He says like the um, it's like the boot camp effect where I tear you down to try to build you back up. Well, a lot of times you're not seeing these people get built back up. Charleston White has made a you or he made a YouTube career off of just disrespecting all his viewers, or just coming in just 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 you ain't you haven't done this today. You ain't seen your kids. You this that and the third like the things that he say it will it will it will stir the people to come back more and listen to us some more. So it's kind of like. It's a psychological thing with our black community. It's just like, I feel like Charleston White showed a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? The way his his antics and the way he moved, and he had a great he had great success in doing so. I don't know if he's suspended now or what's going on. But at the end of the day, the way that brother carried himself on YouTube shows you how um, off balance our minds is. We want to be talked to in a disrespectful way, in order to want to keep coming back and seeing some more. The same way America. Uh, the same way these, these these jobs that you work, you know, they they give you they they give you their butt to kiss, and you keep coming back for more. Or or like you know your boss at your job, you see a lot of these people brown nose in the man, and the man talk to him disrespectful, and they, you would go back and brown nose him some more. At what point do you don't you say you know what man I don't need this man. Um, I believe in myself. I believe in ownership. I, I'm gonna bet on me. You get what I'm saying? It's like we love coming back to the ones that disrespect us, even in your home life. A lot of you guys are in relationships with people that just disrespectful. And you still go back for more because you feel like, but they love me. Let that sink in. But I'm gonna I'm veer on off to go back to YouTube, man. Um, um, these brothers here, man, it, it's just amount, the amount of disrespect, the amount of the, the words that come out their mouth. It shows these are not no you. These are not kids speaking or speaking out of anger. They will come to you with just a normal day and talk to you any kind of way. And a lot of people will still go to their super chats and, and donate and, and send. And I'm sure send them cash apps so on and so forth. But to just speak to this channel. I just want to tell you all, man, I appreciate y'all engagement, man. Um, when I seen that little clip this morning, somebody sent it to me. Man, I didn't want to get into what it was all about and this and that because at the end of the day, I don't care. I just see the level of, um, I just want to use it as a teaching moment to show you guys that um, 
you know, man, the level of disrespect that you tolerate on YouTube, man, a lot of us, a lot of us find you something else to listen to. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why would you be engaged in a person? Um, and I'm not just saying Hassan at this point. I'm just saying in general, all the YouTubers around, around, you know what I'm saying, around these black YouTube streets and beyond. Um, why would you be so interested in listening to a person that has no respect for you every day? Why would you listen to a Boyce Watkins that said he's only trying to speak to 10% anyway, the rest of y'all dumb? Why would you give your engagement to these type of people? $60 million in a lifetime. Then they'll come back to YouTube to you sloppy, dumb motherfuckers and sit up there and say, hit the super chat and you give them money. But then they come back to you so you could keep donating item and give them a portion of the money they gave back so they could keep donating. You's a stupid motherfucker. You's a stupid hoe. You's a stupid, stupid hoe. You're stupid. Y'all stupid. Like I said, man, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and maybe he was speaking to just the other YouTube viewers as a whole that like to give super chats. I don't really know, but at the end of the day, um, I can't say what direction the man was coming from, but I will say this, man. At the end of the day, man, if, if you're giving your engagement, if you're taking your hard-earned money to contribute to any page, even if it's a, even if it's a platform that I don't necessarily care for, if that's your taste uh, of, 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 uh, of commentary, if that's your taste of, of content, then yeah, I mean, contribute to that brother page if that's what you have, if, that, if that's what you see fit. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with wanting to see the favorite um, YouTuber that you like or, or the content creator that you like if you want to see him grow. You investing in his page maybe allows him to go buy that better camera, to go buy him that, buy stuff that better uh, lens or buy, buy stuff that better editing program, so on and so forth. I think you guys understand that. Um, I done done all my content pretty much in the car, right? But a lot of guys have um, big setups, good lightings. They have all these other things in which, you know, we will have too as well. But at the end of the day, um, these guys, it costs a lot of money to, to, to pay, to pay for all that material. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, these dudes really, I mean, I don't know what type of checks they getting, but I know YouTube don't pay me enough to stop doing what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. It don't pay me enough. So at the end of the day, these dudes have real lives as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when you stop and time out your day to create the content to try to bring it to your audience, um, it takes time out your day, take time away from your income, time away from your family, your children, your loved ones. Um, to come in here and edit and so on and so forth to bring a uh, substance or try to bring whatever it is content that you know your audience love to see so for people to contribute to that you know it's to be saluted to them to have that type of heart not call them stupid for doing it you get what i'm saying and that's just pretty much all i want to say man that's just my take on it but at the end of the day me just being a content creator i understand it i understand both sides i understand the monetization side i understand people was making great money on youtube but you got other YouTubers that they may not be making what a Hassan Campbell is making. You get what I'm saying? They may not be making what a Kevin Samuel is making. Chan more chances than not, people are not making what they're making. Um, if you're just a smaller YouTuber trying to build your platform, you know, you're not very, you're not making very much money. Now, when you start crossing over 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 and beyond, maybe you're making a little bit of money to which where YouTube can be your focus. But as where I stand, um, and I can only speak for me, I can't speak for these other YouTubers. The way I like to live, YouTube can never, at this particular time, you know what I'm saying, uh, I can never stop what I do to get money um, and just believe solely on YouTube income because in the day, it's, it, you know, it's cool, but at the same time, you know, certain people like to live a, a certain type of way. Um, and this right here just wouldn't do it for me at this moment. But um, I just say all that to say, you know what I'm saying, for those people that's contributing to those pages that he's speaking about, um, y'all keep on doing it if y'all got a love for that because at the end of the day, you don't know. Your your content creator that you love, he may don't have the time to just sit here and just his whole life be YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He may he may take time out of his day. He may uh, might not have all the necessary money to uh, invest in the right lens, the right MacBook, the, the right microphone, the mic, the right whatever. You get what I mean? Um, and, your, and your engagement, your love for his channel, your donating to whatever it is he doing or just believing in his channel. I'm sure um, he appreciated greatly. I'm never gonna be one to call you stupid for doing that. Each one teach one, as long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. I don't care what page you like, man, continue to engage into it because it's, it's very hard to build. It's not, it, I just say, it's not easy to build these platforms that you guys are, are falling in love with or you guys will help you get through your day, so on and so forth. I was telling my brother that I grew up with, man, listen, bro, you just stay consistent. Don't give up on yourself, man, because, uh, 
you know, man, you never know what video might might be the one for you. But at the end of the day, you know, to have 200 subscribers, 300 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, man, that's not easy, bro. It's, it's, it's just not easy. So when you start seeing these guys have 10,000 or better, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You want to salute that. But at the same time, it's a lot of young upcoming YouTubers because I'm one of them. I've only been on here for two, three months, but it's some other guys that's just getting started. May just got started two weeks ago and ready to give up already. Don't give up, man. Keep on, keep on fighting, man, because there's people that's going to believe in your channel. And, and the people that believe in your channel, do it for them, if nothing else. Each one teach one as long as we have each other. We continue to grow together. Y'all comment below what y'all think about Hassan Campbell um, calling YouTube viewers some stupid MFers. Um, each one teach one love and respect. Blessing to your family. Love. On it.